I've told you how I've seen these two prongs of Prime Minister Modi's approach to cultivate Bharatiya civilization, one being his personal conduct, the second being his political conduct. The third prong of his approach I see being how he is creating the space, the conditions and the opportunities for Bharatiyas to rediscover their civilization. And again, he's doing that in two ways, indirectly and directly. He's indirectly doing this through his socio-economic reforms. Ultimately, until it is very difficult for an individual to experience inner transformation unless their fundamental human needs are being met. Needs such as clean water, food, shelter, safety and dignity. But there are some direct ways in which he is cultivating the civilization, and I'll give you some examples. Let's take the 2019 Kumela, the largest peaceful gathering of humanity on the earth. Despite persistent threats from ISIS to poison the waters, poison the food, attack the pilgrims, derail the trains, the event went off as a huge success, allowing 240 visitors to experience and absorb the very special and sacred event, all for the price of 177 rupees per person. The event was even more special this year, now that Marganga, the holiest of rivers, is 30% cleaner, now that 5,000 Ganga villages and 90% of Ganga towns are open defecation free. In fact, Priyanka Gandhi made a big show of just exactly how clean it is when during the elections she bent down and took a sip. Another way in which Prime Minister Modi is directly cultivating Bharatiya civilization is his determination to return all of the priceless treasures and artifacts that have been looted for Bharat, from Bharat for centuries. Treasures and artifacts that derive their power from being on Bharatiya soil, that Bharatiya children deserve to be able to see, to study, to revere and to feel proud of Bharatiya children today and in future generations. Back in 2003, when Modi ji was chief minister of Gujarat, he oversaw the safe return of the ashes of Shyamji Krishnavarma, an Indian freedom fighter from Switzerland. Since coming to power in 2014, he has driven the safe return of 31 murtis stolen from, from Mandas. And there are strong plans underway to return another 200 with the help of India, the Pride of India project in the very near future. This compares to only nine murtis returned in the 60 years previous.